power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. Jesus Thank you for a time like this. And we thank you for what you have been doing at Speak Woe to Long Term Problems Program. We thank you for your mighty hand. We thank you for your mighty power. We thank you because you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We thank you because it is written with man this is impossible but with god all things are possible we thank you because in the dictionary of the almighty the word impossibility does not exist we thank you because once you appear at our battlefront there is no battle anymore. Therefore, I'm praying for all your children gathered in this program. Every power that has mounted a siege against your life a siege against your destiny a siege against your family a siege against your business a siege against your children let those powers die in the name of Jesus all those battles that are assigned to destroy your happiness and you have been going from place to place going from mountain to mountain 
not knowing that the enemy you are looking for outside is already inside the battles that want to destroy your happiness in the name which is above all names Jesus Christ the son of the living God receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus Receive it, 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 Jesus. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You the power from the waters. Let her go. Let him go. Let her go. Let her go. Let him go. Let her go. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Silence. Father, thank you. Baba, I took the word for sending this surgery angel here. Be a raw one get only see a baby. See him. Let these angels begin to move about in the mist. Can one get a baby? See the car crini no abu. And anybody scheduled for surgery. Anything what he has sort of we see a baby. Anything that needs to be taken out. Oh, go for your camukuro. Of the spirit. Let these surgeon angels begin to go forth now. I'm begin to remove them. The deafness, the blindness, the fiber, the chest pain. The arrows fired into the liver. The arrows fired into the lungs. The arrow of the spirit of death and hell. The angels of God. They are taking them out. Back to the senders. Back to the senders. Back to the senders. Back to the senders. Joining anyone here to a dead relative. That rope is broken now in the name of Jesus. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. Thank you, Jesus. Someone in this meeting, any company you equate your boy, someone in this meeting, any company you equate your boy, organs in your body have been practically eaten up in the coven. I want to hear this word from heaven. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of
any power that does not want to let anyone go. Any stubborn yoke. Long term yokes. In those days, people shouted by the wall of Jericho. And the wall of Jericho fell down. All the long standing wall of Jericho. All the stubborn household witchcraft. All the iron like curses. In the name which is above our names, as your people shout, be and when you are your to as your people make a joyful noise, be and when you are who are you? Let the yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. your body now. You brought some infirmities here. You just jump back to the senders. You came here practically lifeless. Check your body now. Your strength is back. Check that fire blood in the womb. is gone. Check the hard breathing. It's gone. The orgasm in your body that are not working properly. Started to work properly. Check your body now. Put your faith into action. Do what you could not do before. Jesus is here. And the surgeon, the surgeon angel is still moving about. Check your body well. I don't want the devil to put any problems back on you. Once you have been healed, run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put the problem back. Run quickly to this hotel. Sare wasi bi pepe yi. Sister. Brother. Something is happening. Any power. That wants to cover your glory. No matter how deep they are. No matter how far they have gone. With a tenfold amen. Kill them now in the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let your power, your glory fall upon these hands. Let these hands become the hands of healing, the hands of deliverance, the hands of power. Now, 21 aggressive times. If you came here with any infirmity, smite it, shouting, Go! Let's go! Do it twice, do it twice. Say that, they say that. that.
Yes, something is happening. That's right, he's going out. Back to the senders. Amen. Check your body again. Do what you could not do before. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. It's gone. It's gone. Once you have been healed, find a way to this hotel. Very quickly. Don't allow the enemy to pull the problem back. You the spirit of epilepsy. I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of of Jesus, you are the spirit of cancer. I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, every power that is making your dream life a battlefield, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. All the internal and external body odor is cancelled now in the name of Jesus. Now there are three prayers to pray. This prayer is prayer to disgrace any problem that has stayed long. Don't joke with this prayer. Even if you don't understand them, don't joke with them. Can you shout this loud? Every voice of the wicked over my life. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through. There are 15 people here. <laughs> Something is going to happen before the next speak word to long term problems. You have been down all your life. Down. But within the next few weeks, you shall be lifted up. Whether the devil likes it or not, shout this loud and clear. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise, locate my foundation and kill my battles. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Look at my foundation! And kill my battles! In the name of Jesus! Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. That's, that's great. Say, 
chain of Goliath. Se ke se ke Goliath. Chain of Goliath. Se ke se ke ti Goliath. Chain of Pharaoh. Se ke se ke Pharaoh. Over my destiny. Loria your mommy. Can I hear you shouting that? Again, go ke ki go lo rara. Your voice is not loud enough. Can you make it louder? What are you waiting for? Do Chain of Pharaoh over my destiny. They must die. Thank you, Jesus. As a young man here praying, you came to pray because you want a scholarship. The last thing I should tell you that you get more than one. Sister, Arabin. all the conspiracy in the covenant that you will never marry the conspiracy is scattered now in the name of Jesus sister the conspiracy in the covers that you will never have children he is scattered now in the name of Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. Father, we cover these testimonies with the blood of Jesus. May your hands upon your people. Let there be no one who has come to this program. We will go on with a plastic experience. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's see your feet now, everybody. And pick any song of praises in your hands. And sing it loud. And clear to the kingdom of peace and Thank you, Jesus.
your prayer request if you have a prayer request here and stretch it to the heavens and believe God that the prayer request you have written on this paper that God will answer them and you will have no reason to write them again Father all the long term trouble that are listed in this prayer request. Let them become testimonies in the name of Jesus. By the time you come here again, your testimony shall be awesome. Oh God that answered my fire. Answer these prayers by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. When the time comes, you are going to sow a seed with that prayer request and and give it during the offering time. Bring out your bottle of anointing oil. You are supposed to come to this program with your prayer request and anointing oil. Pour some of those anointing oil on your palm. Pour some some of the oil on your palm. Father, let your fire Baba, come your power your anointing your anointing fall upon this oil in the name of Jesus fall upon the water in the name of Jesus fall upon the pictures in the name of Jesus fall upon the mantle in the name of Jesus let this oil become the oil of healing the oil of deliverance the oil of power the oil of glory in the name of Jesus
Esu. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Esu, Baba. I sanctify, consecrate, blesses all in the name of the Father, Mo the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus, Jesus. mighty name we pray. Ni la Jesu, la Rub Bura. that oil on your forehead aggressively. Somebody is rubbing that oil on the forehead. The unconscious crown from the waters. It's on fire. upon the forehead. The mark of financial embarrassment. This mark of stagnancy and limitation is being rubbed off. Another oil on your palm. Get access to your chest and rub the oil on your chest. Rub it on your chest. As you are rubbing it, but if you walk by, you know, every poison in your blood poison of limitation poison of infirmity poison of stagnancy is being flushed out yes that chest is on fire Another oil on your palm. Thank you, Jesus. Now rub this one on your two legs. So that your legs can take you to your place of destiny. Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of death in the chest, in the legs, the womb, the breast is coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We put the oil away now. And if you don't see it, come by. And rise to your feet. Lay your right hand upon your head. And shout this with boiling anger. Without any mercy to any enemy. With reckless violence. Lay your right hand upon your head. And shout this louder than anyone around you. The louder the better. Before this, before this angels depart. Saying that I must not go far. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you once again. Lay your hands of fire and power upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's sit and take our Bibles. In Exodus chapter 5. 
when the enemy remains stubborn. Nigba Siota Basi Jiala Gidi Sibe. When the enemy remains stubborn. Nigba Tota Basi Jiala Gidi Sibe. Exodus chapter five. Iwe Exodus Ori Karun. I read from verse one. Wobere Kika Lati Sekini. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in. And told Pharaoh, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go. That they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. What did Pharaoh say? And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice? To so let Israel go. I know not the Lord. Neither will I let Israel go. Let my people go, they told Pharaoh. No, I will not let them go. Let them stay here and suffer. I'm praying for somebody here this morning. Any power that say you must suffer with a sevenfold amen. Bury them now in the name of Jesus. Exodus chapter 12. Verse 12. Now tells us how God dealt with this stubbornness. What did he do? In Exodus chapter 12. Verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt. This night. I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And we smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt will I execute judgment. I am the Lord. But what was the final straw? I will pass through the land. I will pass through the land. Many things have happened. Many promises have been given by Pharaoh. He remained adamant and stubborn. Until, unfortunately for him, this word came. Okay, okay, I've told you this, I've told you this, you didn't listen, now I will pass through the land. Can somebody who wants immediate breakthrough close his or her eyes, raise the two hands up, and shout this 21 times. Oh God, Pass through the land of my enemies. In the name of Jesus. 21 times. Let's go.
you have said in your mouth so shall it be in the name of Jesus sit down beloved there are many here today who have been boxed to a corner by the enemy there are many here this morning crying when will my deliverance come there are many listening to me now all their life they have been struggling with the strugglers and wrestling with the wrestlers those to me now have been going from one problem to the other. One to the, other. the funds are low and the debts are high. They sat down and watched the serpents of the magicians. The enemy is converting the fatal line to desert right in their eyes. There are many here they have few friends but plenty of enemies to some smiling is a very hard work and crying comes easily some people people are already asking why is your God and there are gates closing the gates to in rapid succession and there are those uh, powers of darkness are already congratulating themselves that the people person is finished. These are the activities of stubborn pursuers. Activities of stubborn enemies. These stubborn pursuers, stubborn enemies. They are human. Physical, spiritual, and environmental factors working against your moving forward. Your environment can be your stubborn enemy. Your situation can be your stubborn enemy. Stubborn pursuers are enemies employing sorcerers and magicians and diviners against people. I decree that all the diviners are signed against you shall run mad. Stubborn pursuers are arrogant enemies. Pharaoh said, I know not the Lord. Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I will obey his voice? So I know not the Lord. I will not let you go. Stubborn pursuers. Stubborn pursuers are drawers of powers from the heavenly. They draw power from the sun, from the moon, from the stars. They are contemptuous enemies. Speaking enemies. Boasting enemies. Inflexible aggressors. Raging enemies. Spiritual exploiters. Using your labor for advancement. Causing unprofitable delay. God started to deal with the Egyptians. One thing to the other. This converted to blood. Drugs. Lies. Then God now. When they remain stubborn, God now changed the battle strategy. So go and tell Aaron to tell them. Tell Aaron to tell them. When God got to a level in the, in the warfare, there was no more tell Aaron. Moses, Moses, go and say it directly now. Go and say it yourself. Go and say, Aaron, you have tried. No more say this, no more say that. Tell them, Moses, I am going to pass through the land. 
No fighting is needed now. I will pass the land. land. Because when God comes to your situation, there is no battle. God is going to pass through the land of your oppressors. God is going to pass through the land of your tormentors. God is going to pass through the land of those stubborn enemies. So the final kill that broke Pharaoh is that God pass through the land. You are going to decree right now that God will pass through the land of your enemies. After After God has passed through the land of Egypt, they release them quickly. Let them go. God warned Pharaoh several times. He dead with the river of Nile, brought frogs, lies, flies, he dead with the livestock, he put boils on them, there is hail, there is locusts, there is darkness, but all this did not shake the stubborn enemies until God passed through the land. The fact that the, the, the solution to a problem does not come immediately doesn't mean it's not solved. You are not finished when you are defeated, you are finished when you surrender. Failure is not falling down, failure is staying down. So make up your mind here today that all the stubborn affliction the Lord will pass through their land. But you need to surrender your life to Jesus. You need to repent from every known sin. You need to know that the devil is wickedly wicked and badly bad. And you need to use the weapon of prayer. The Bible says men ought always to pray and not faint. There is a strong prayer to pray today here. It's for that this midnight. This midnight. It depends on how you want to pray it. God should pass through the land. Of all your stubborn enemies. Rise to your feet now. And all eyes closed. But you see, if you are in this meeting, and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. We have gotten to a level now where you need to surrender your life to Jesus if you must possess your possession. So, very quickly, if you know you want to surrender your life to Jesus, run quickly to the altar here. Jesus is waiting for you here. Leave that seat and come out to this place. So that today will be a landmark in your life. Jesus is waiting for you here. God bless us. It is very quickly in Jesus. Name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
affair at the altar, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Boil down your eyes and see what I'm going to say after. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children. Let your anointing be upon their lives. Let them experience the touch of Jehovah in a new way. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you in Jesus. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just follow this pastor for a little bit. Then you can join us later. God bless us to do so. Just follow the pastor. God bless us this so. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. Valley on the land and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. These strange prayers are needed when something strange is going on. Say this loud and clear. Spider of backwardness. See, Father, say. I am not your candidate. Can you shout it loud? Is that the loudest who can shout it?
Jas Benny Jesus name we pray. Ni oruko Jesu. So every voice commanding me to carry the evil load of my father's house. Can you say that loud? Shut up. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, you just in Jesus' name we pray. Nioruko Jesu La Badura. Both your prayer letters now. Ewe Ebiadura offering and your seed. Or ye at you rook me or ye. Put them together in the offering boxes after prayers. So bring out your offering and your seed now, your prayer request. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. Let your hand be upon your people for good. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Christ have it, please. Father, we thank you for another speak word to your long-term problems program. And we thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. Father, I decree upon everyone gathered here today, whether the enemy likes it or not, whether it's convenient for the enemy or not, you shall have testimonies. In the name of Jesus, every power assigned to attack your testimonies, they are buried alive in the name of Jesus. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Let his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. No weapon from against your life shall prosper. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord bless you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.